and that it in turn helps them grow at a dramatically lighter weight. Good morning. Haven't done a vlog in a while, so figured let's just get one up. Uh, I want to get back into the routine of these, as I've said a few times before. Yeah, I'm still not quite there. Anyway, it's a low day today, so the plan was to come here, do some tempo runs in the field there, and then go there and get a bit of a pump session in and film some stuff that I need to film for Rugby Dump. But I've been messing around with a client whose circumstances have changed. So I basically had to change their whole block of programming because of an injury they picked up in the game. That's fine, we can, we can figure stuff out and that's the whole point of coaching is that the program adapts. Remember, uh, if you watch or listen to the most recent or one of the most recent podcasts that me and Alex did, we discussed how it's not about each individual workout, it's about a long term program but it's also about how you must adapt that program when things change. I only came because I am your man. I only came because I am seven, your seven, man. Seven, seven, seven. experiment with doing some collusion training because it's my low day and I want to make sure that I'm kind of fresh for tomorrow so if I can get in some more volume by doing collusion training that means that I should be recovered for tomorrow still but have the benefit of having the extra volume uh, for my bulk. I only came because I am your man. Occlusion training cuts the blood off from returning back to the heart. So what happens is it's not a strong enough cutoff so that 
you don't get blood, you get a lot of blood going into the muscle because of the, the, the straps or whatever, it stays in the muscle. So you get a lot of uh, basically nutrients coming in to the muscles and that in turn helps them grow at a dramatically lighter weight. As you can see that I was only using 15 pounds than what you would normally do. So the good thing about this is the lighter weight makes it much, much, much easier on the body. So if you're injured or something, it's a good time to do it. Otherwise, uh, if you're just looking to get some extra volume in, a couple sets each week, it's just gonna add some more volume, which grows the muscle. It's not the movement itself, it's just that accumulative volume. So instead of doing, say, eight sets this week of biceps, I've done 12, and my body doesn't feel those extra four sets because of the wraps and because of the lighter weight. Boom, so that's that done. Um, occlusion training, look it up, do some research, give it a go if you feel the need. It's like one of those things where you can do it for a couple months out of the year just to add an extra boost, a little extra something, because that's what your goal is. But don't just add it in for the sake of it, because it is bloody painful. It really does, especially on the calves. Oh man, the calves are probably Occlusion training in the car is probably the most, one of the most painful things that you can do in the gym, for sure. But if you do want to give it a go, just pick one exercise to do at the end of a session and do two sets of 20 reps. If you can film it or if you get a picture, just let me know you did it on my Twitter or my Instagram, links are below. Yeah, so that video took a lot longer to edit, but check it out, I'll link it below. Um, that took me a lot longer to edit, so now, these potatoes are just going to have to sit in the sink for a little bit and I'm just going to have to make a sandwich real quick because otherwise I'm going to be late for my coaching. Eating a sandwich on my way there is a bloody good sandwich but I don't like to keep bread in the house because I always get lazy with my meal prep and all I do is eat bread. That's why. So back from training, didn't manage to video any of it or any of the coaching because um, I ran out of battery and I was gonna like, I had this whole idea set up in my head and then the battery on the GoPro completely ran out on me. So instead, we're just back here for post-workout meal or post-training meal. We did a little bit of fitness. So I earned some carbs, which are gonna be, you guessed it, those potatoes. And I've got three eggs in there and a load of vegetables. And this is beautifully prepared for me by the wife. Thank you. And now we're gonna eat it, and actually I'm not gonna eat it there because we've got a new episode of The Voice to watch, and I'm somewhat addicted to it now. Look at him. What does that look like? What what? Obviously, now it's the next day, um, but I wanted to wrap up the video anyways. If you enjoyed this, if you learned anything from my video inclusion, or any of my little ramblings, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, just give it a thumbs up. Just click that little thumb there, if you're on a mobile or there, no, whichever way around it is. 
click that little thumb, give it a thumbs up. It really, really does help. You don't realize how much like just pressing a little button is going to help the channel. And then, you know, the more the channel can get help, the better I can make content. So the more fun it is for you. So it's a win-win. Um, if you, this is your first time, I'll be shocked. But if it is, subscribe and that'll be it. I'll see you in the next video.